Good evening, friends. So good to be with you. Today is April 1, 2020. Today is the first day of new, and who knows what God has in plan for us. I invite you to center yourself as I'm lighting the peace candle, and I invite God's peace not only with us tonight, but with the whole world as well. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday. Christians all around the world will remember the events of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem in his last week here on earth. Every single year, the week before Easter, we listen to the story to the story of Palm Sunday. I would like to read now with you from the Gospel of Matthew. This is the version we are going to read on Sunday. Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 11. When they drew near Jerusalem and arrived at Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying, go to the village on the other side and there you will find a donkey tied up with its coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say, the Lord needs them, but he will send them back immediately. This happened in fulfillment of what the prophet said. Say to the daughter of Zion, see your king comes to you in all simplicity, riding on a donkey, a beast of burden, with his coat. The disciples went as Jesus had instructed them, and they brought the donkey with his coat. Then they threw their cloaks on its back, and Jesus sat upon it. Many people also spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut leafy branches from the trees and spread them on the ground. The people who walked ahead of Jesus and those who followed him began to shout, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, glory in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, all the city was disturbed. The people asked, who is this man? And the crowd answered, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Reading of God and thanks be to God. I would like to share with you one of my favorite children's books. I found this book last year on our summer vacation. It is called Fully Remember the Biblical Story, interpreted by Joel Shome Canis. Joel is an um, artist, a local artist in West Michigan, and he loves to draw murals, especially with children on the school property, but also on public spheres. And he is well known, not only in Michigan, but has been in Africa and Zambia as well. This is, I hope I can do this now, yeah, um, how he imagines what happened on that day in Jerusalem. He calls this picture the Donkey King. What is so special about this drawing and his artwork is that he draws as if he were a six year old child, or maybe seven, or maybe five. So it is all in a very childlike manner. I love the bright colors, the beautiful, beautiful faces full of laughter, the crowd, and you can just imagine this wonderful atmosphere. It's like a big, big party, like a parade going on. And not only big smiles on the people's faces, but also you can hear them shouting. And in his writing, which he only can do, like he's from kindergarten, he writes Donkey King. Don't mind the spelling mistakes. He writes Donkey King. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Everyone cheered and waved palm branches because they thought Jesus was going to be the king and save them from the Romans. But he was going to be a different sort of king and save people in a different way. 
the donkey should have been the first clue, but people can be not so smart sometimes. I want to show you how he writes, and I don't know if you can see it. Lots of spelling mistakes, but he thinks in his imagination how maybe a preschooler, kindergartner, or maybe first or second grader could read and write to um, illustrate this story right here. A parade, a wonderful parade. I love parades. The crowds and the excitement of being there. And I always wonder what floats will come around and of course, what goodies I can catch. In that crowd, in that parade many, many years ago in Jerusalem, where would you stand? What would you wave? Interestingly enough, in Matthew's gospel, it does not say palms. It actually said others cut leafy branches from the trees. I wonder what the owners of these trees are thinking when suddenly people are just cutting them off and just laying them on the street. What would you shout? Imagine being there. When I was a teenager, the musical Jesus Christ Superstar came out. And I remember the song Hosanna in that movie. Hosanna, hey Zanna, 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 Hosanna, hey Zanna, Hosanna, hey JC, JC, won't you smile at me? Zanna, Hosanna, hey superstar. And then, how quick does the mood of the crowd change? Only a few days later, the same people shout, crucify him, crucify him. As I prepare myself for Palm Sunday, I wonder, who am I? What would I shout? I invite you to pray with me. Holy God, we remember your son's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And we confess that all too often we have been part of the crowd. When things go our way, we believe our lives are good because we worked hard, we earned it. When things do not go our way, we tend to blame others for our troubles. God, help us to take responsibilities, not only for our own lives, but for the lives of our neighbors, for the lives of those who are the least of us. Forgive us when we have forgotten your commandments and have failed to love our neighbors as ourselves, but instead have judged others, believing them not worthy of our help or our compassion. Forgive us our faults and renew in us a sense of your love, justice, and mercy. Guide us in ways we might live out your commandments more fully in our lives. Help us to see Christ in the suffering in this world and guide us as the body of Christ to be your hands and feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good night and hope to see you Friday night again.